Hag is a really good killer. Most people put her top 5 and some go as high as to put her 3rd, but in my opinion, one little perk change in the upcoming patch is going to make Hag not even a top 5 killer for most people. And that perk is going to be Borrow Time. So Borrow Time is getting changed in this patch to where it lasts for 12 seconds instead of 15 seconds, but the Terror Radius requirement is just straight up removed. Now why is this such a big deal for Hag? It's because of Hag's gameplay loop. So let me quickly explain how you usually play Hag. You usually spend the first minute of the game just setting up your traps. That gets followed up by you eventually downing someone and then bringing them to that area of the map that you have trapped, hooking them, and then placing a trap right at their feet. At this point, you can be very far away from the hook, but you're still face camping it. Because if a survivor runs back and unhooks them and they blow up any of the traps, you can then hit them. But if they unhook them and they try to crouch away or heal, you can just walk back, and then you can down the person that's injured. They're outside of the range of borrowed time, so that never comes into play. Basically, you're just screwed. But borrowed time completely changes that now. Now, the meta strategy is going to be unhooking someone with borrowed time, and then the person with borrowed time just runs in a straight line away from the person that unhooked them. When the hag tries to teleport back, it hits you, guess what? You have borrowed time. It doesn't matter how far away they were anymore. And now all their traps are destroyed. You get the speed boost and you're gone. If they try to wait out your borrowed time, then you're going to run through all their traps and blow them up and then be really far away by the time they down you. And most likely, you'll be able to do something like get to a loop, get to an area with outer traps, and then there's nothing the hag can really do. Where one of Hag's strongest points was being able to, to pressure other things while also being able to pressure a hook, she can't really do that anymore because borrowed time will make it to where the person will always be able to get away. Now there's going to be certain things that Hags can try to do, like for example they might start running make your choice a lot more often, that's probably going to become meta on Hag. So if the person with borrowed time just starts sprinting through the traps, they might be able to teleport back and then hit the unhooker and one-shot them to the ground. But the problem with that is the unhooker is going to be trying to stealth away, and then even if you do find them, pretty much all of your traps in that area have been destroyed by the unhooker and you couldn't really stop them. So now you would hook that person, and then you have to immediately place down all the traps, and then if someone else saves with borrow time, then you make your choices on cooldown and you can't do that. Maybe I'm wrong in thinking this way, but from my point of view, it just seems like the power control, at least around hooks, has flipped 180. Usually, if you were hooked by Hag, you were done, you know? Because there wasn't much you were going to be able to do if the Hag just wanted to make sure you didn't escape. But now it feels like survivors, if you have borrowed time, have all the control to get away from Hag and get away from her traps and get away from her camping. Now, Hag's still going to be good. She's still going to be able to pressure the hooks. And she's still going to be able to 3-gen and, and do a lot of the other tricks that Hag can do, but in my opinion, Hag's strongest tool, or one of Hag's strongest tool, is now hard countered by a perk, and they can't really do anything to change that. Whereas before, I would probably have said Hag is the third best killer in the game, I think characters like Blight and Oni are probably stronger than her now, and she's more likely on the tier of someone like Twins or Pyramid Head, Maybe even something like Huntress. I'm not a really good hag though, so I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments on whether you think hag is completely destroyed or if you think hag is perfectly fine and isn't going to move in the tier list at all. Also, I am currently streaming on Twitch if you're watching this when I upload it. I'll be streaming for a couple hours. I'd love if you guys wanted to stop by, we could talk about this some more, or just hang. My link is going to be on screen and in the description, so please stop by. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one.